Hi guys, after studying heat in our previous video, let us now discuss another form of energy na importanteng maintindihan natin when we are studying thermodynamics and physical chemistry and that is work. So on this video, we will try to understand kung ano ba tong tinatawag natin work. We will also identify kung ano ba yung unit of work and we'll be explaining that work is actually a directional quantity. And we will be explaining as well yung different forms of work transfer. So, we will not be discussing in detail kung ano ba tong mga different forms of work na to. And this is not uh, really the whole forms of work na may encounter natin. But at least we will be uh, discussing or introducing to you this time yung mga basic na pwede ninyong makita when we are studying thermodynamics. But in this video, we will be focusing more on the moving boundary work. Okay, so dahil important ito when we are studying ideal gases and the first law of thermodynamics. So, we will be solving one problem, okay, involving uh, moving boundary work, no? Para makita natin how do we apply that in thermodynamics. So, sasagutan natin yan, okay? And as you can see here, okay, ayan yung naging final answer natin dito sa problem na to. So, it is very important to understand this before we proceed sa mga succeeding videos natin in thermodynamics. So, hindi na natin patatagalin pa. Let us now jump to our discussion. Well, like heat, work is also a form of energy in transit. It is an energy interaction between a system and its surroundings. So, we already learned about system, surrounding, and boundary in our previous videos. So, let's say we have our system in here. We also learned sa previous videos natin that energy can cross the boundary of a closed system in a form of either heat or work. So, if we have, let's say, heat and work, these types of energies can cross our boundary here. So, it can either be going to the system or going outside from the system. So, the same way sa ating work. Now, since meron lang naman tayong dalawang pagpipilian dito na type ng energy, so, ang ibig sabihin, kapag ang pumapasok or lumalabas na energy sa ating system is not heat, then it is an energy in a form of work. Well, it is easy to recognize if the energy coming in or out is heat because we already understand that the driving force for heat transfer is the difference in temperature. So, therefore, if the energy interaction is not caused by temperature difference between the system and the surrounding, therefore, it is work. And that is actually why we noted here that work is defined as the energy transfer associated with force acting through a distance. Well, since we already know that work is also a form of energy, Therefore, the unit of work is also in kilojoules or in joules. And for work done per unit mass, we have our W which is equal to work over mass, which is in kilojoules per kilogram. Okay, so this will be the unit of work that we will be using. Now, there are many different forms of work transfer, okay? And we will not be able to cover everything on this video, pero itatry natin na ipakita yung ilan sa mga forms of work transfer. Okay, so one of that is what we call the electrical work. It is the work done on a charged particle by an electric field. Well, in an electric field, the electron in a wire move under the effect of electromotive forces of doing work. So, the rate of electrical work transfer can be expressed as watts and the rate of work done is in joules. So, we could say that electrical work is equal to Vi delta T and the units will be in joules. Okay? Well, we will try to discuss uh, each of these different forms of work in a later video. So, now we're just going to define uh, kung ano ba tong mga different forms of work na may encounter natin. Another form of work is the mechanical work. 
In physics, mechanical work is the amount of energy transferred by a force or a work done by a system is expressed as a product of force and displacement. Okay? So our work is the product of force and displacement S. Okay? So in physics, uh, we are writing displacement as S. Okay? And when the force is not constant, the work done is obtained by work is equal to the integral from 1 to 2 F dS. Okay? We will be using this equation when we are working for mechanical work and our force is not constant. Okay? So, another form of work is what we call acceleration work. Acceleration work is the work associated with the change in velocity of a system. This is also known as a change in kinetic energy. So, according to Newton's law of motion, our acceleration force, so force acceleration, is equal to mass times acceleration. You could recall this na napag-aralan natin sa ating mga physics lecture. And acceleration is defined in terms of velocity as acceleration which is equal to the change in velocity over the change in time. And velocity is, of course, equal to the displacement over time. Okay, so if we're going to take displacement, uh, we will have our ds, which is equal to v dt. Okay? Now, the same dito sa ating mechanical work, no? Our work is equal to force times the displacement. Okay? So, therefore, our work uh, due to acceleration is equal to the integral of uh, from 1 to 2 force uh, due to acceleration times the displacement. And since our force is equal to mass times acceleration, and acceleration is equal to dv over dt, so therefore, this is equal to the integral from 1 to 2 mass times acceleration, which is dv over dt, times our ds, and our ds is equal to v dt. So we have here v dt. So this will be cancelled out, and our mass is constant, right? So therefore, we will have here as mass times the integral from 1 to 2, v dv. So therefore, our work due to acceleration is equal to um, 1 half times mass times v2 squared minus v1 squared. And our unit will be in joules. Okay? So, this is our equation for that. Then, we also have what we call the shaft work. And it is the work done with energy transmission with a rotating shaft. It is the product of torque and angular displacement. So, if you consider a shaft rotating with n revolutions per minute, and the force F is acting through an arm radius R, the torque is equal to the force times our arm radius R. Or we could write our F as equal to torque over the radius. Now, the force acts through a displacement per unit time. So therefore, our work is equal to 2 pi R times N over 60 to convert this into seconds then times t over r okay so therefore our work is equal to 2 pi n um, t over 60 okay so the unit here will be in watts okay so this is our equation for shaft work now as i said we will be discussing that specifically on some topics no but we will be focusing more dito sa moving boundary work because we will be using this a lot when we are studying ideal gases and the first law of thermodynamics. The moving boundary work occur because the mass of the substance contained within the system boundary causes a force, the pressure times the surface area to act on the boundary surface and make it move. Well, this is actually what you will often see in many thermodynamics books. And this is happening in piston cylinders, no? Like, for example, this. May kita nyo to sa mga thermodynamic books natin, ano? 
So on this case, we have a mass inside our closed system. So it is either the mass inside the system that is causing our piston or our boundary to move, or it is our surrounding that is exerting work dito sa ating system that is causing our boundary to move. Alright? And when we are talking about moving boundary work, we will be using this equation. Our work is equal to the integral from state 1 to state 2 times P dV. Okay? So, one thing really important na dapat nating tandaan when we are talking about work is that it is a directional quantity. Kaya, may kita ninyo, lalo na kapag nag-aral na tayo ng first law of thermodynamics, napakahalaga na maintindihan natin kung yung heat and work natin ba is done by the system or done to the system. So, it means that the complete description of heat and work interaction requires the specification of both magnitude and direction. That is why kapag nag-aral na tayo ng first law of thermodynamics, may kita ninyo na importanteng ma-identify natin if our work is done by the system or done on the system. Okay, so we will talk more about that kapag nagpunta na tayo sa first law of thermodynamics. So as I said, we will be focusing dito sa moving boundary work uh, kapag nag-aral na tayo ng ideal gases and first law of thermodynamics. So, to begin, let us try to answer this question here. The initial pressure and volume in a piston cylinder arrangement are 300 kPa and 2 cubic meter respectively. Energy is added to the system and the piston is withdrawn in such a way that the quantity PV remains constant. If the final pressure is 100 kPa, find the work done by the gas in the piston. Okay, so let us first draw our piston here. So let's say this is our piston. Okay, now the initial pressure and volume in a piston cylinder arrangement are 300 kilopascal and 2 cubic meters. So therefore, our initial pressure is equal to 300 kilopascal and our initial volume is equal to 2 cubic meters. Now, energy is added to the system and the piston is withdrawn in such the way that the quantity PV remains constant. Okay, so our PV is constant. Okay, so hindi nagbabago yung ating PV. So therefore, our P1V1 will be equal to P2V2. Okay, because it remains the same, constant naman siya. So ano yung value ng ating constant? Our uh, C is equal to PV, so therefore our C is equal to 300 kilopascal times 2 cubic meters. So therefore our C is equal to 600 kilopascal cubic meters. No? So let's take note of that value. Okay, so now, uh, tanong sa atin dito, if the final pressure is 100 kilopascal, Find the work done by the gas in the piston. So, given yung ating final pressure, P2. Okay? So, our P2 is equal to 100 kilopascal. So, ang kailangan natin makuha is yung ating work. Okay? Pinahanap sa atin yung ating work. And we are working for moving boundary work, right? So, we will be working for W, which is the integral from state 1 to state 2, P, D, V. Okay? So, constant yung ating P, V, right? So, therefore, P1, B1 is equal to P2, V2. E given yung ating P2, so therefore, makukuha natin yung ating V2, di ba? So, P1, V1 is equal to P2, V2. So, hindi natin alam yung value ng V2. So, V2 is equal to P1, V1 over P2. So, ano yung value ng ating P1? Our P1 is 300 kilopascal. So, 300 kilopascal times our V1, which is 2 cubic meters, so 2 cubic meters, divided by our P2. So, our P2 is equal to 100 kilopascal. Okay? So, our kilopascal here will be cancelled out. So, we will be able to get yung ating V2 in cubic meters. So, our V2 is equal to 300 divided by 100 will be 3. So, 3 times 2 is equal to 6 
cubic meters. Okay? So, nakuha na natin yung value ng phi to natin. Now, let us use itong ating equation dito, which is W is equal to um, the integral of P dV. Okay? So, uh, we know that our PV is constant. Okay? So, PV is equal to C. So, our P is equal to constant over V. So, let us substitute that here. So, our W is equal to the integral of C over V dV. Okay? So, alam natin yung value ng C, right? Our C is equal to 600. Okay? So, our W is equal to 600, which is constant. So, let's take it out. So, we have from 1 to 2 dV over V. Okay? So, let us now solve our integral here. So, our W is equal to 600 dV over B. Okay? The integral of dV over B is ln V. So, we have ln V from 1 to 2. Okay? So, substitute natin yan dito. So, we have W is equal to 600 times ln V2 minus ln V1. Okay? So, we can also write this as W is equal to 600 times ln V2 over V1. Okay? So, this is equal to W 600 times ln of uh, our V2. Our V2 here is 6 and our V1 is equal to 2. So, we have 6 divided by 2. So, therefore, this is equal to W 600 times ln 3. Okay? So, let us now solve for that. Our W is equal to, uh, let's use our calculator. So, we have 600 times ln of 3. Okay? So, this is equal to 659 0.17 Okay, our unit here is in kilojoules Okay, so this is our final answer here Okay, so we learned what is work What is the different forms of work And we also try to answer this question here Para may apply natin yung natutunan natin about moving boundary work Okay, so I guess we are ready now to understand yung mga lectures natin sa mga susunod na topics, ideal gases, and first law of thermodynamics. So with all of that and more, I will see you in our next video. To watch more of our lecture videos about engineering and STEM subjects, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and click on the notification bell para lagi kayong updated sa mga videos na ia-upload namin. We are regularly uploading tutorial videos in engineering, mathematics, chemistry, physics, at iba pang subject na magagamit ninyo sa inyong pagre-review. So, thank you very much sa patuloy ninyong pagsuporta sa engineers.org.